because he was really enthusiastic about it. Um, apparently. Oh, fuck! Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. You know where he came? What the fuck was that all about? <sighs> okay. Well, you know, sometimes in New York City, everybody, you get what we call a fucking crazy person who tries to attack you in traffic with a beverage. So, here's what just went down. I was at a stoplight, vlogging away, and I look in my rearview mirror, and I see a man <laughs> running, and he's holding up a, a, like a drink, like a soda or something. And he's just running at me, like he, and he's got it up like he's going to throw it at me. And he was getting close. He was close. So <laughs> I jumped off the bike, <laughs> dropped the bike, break the fucking lever. I get up, and I look, and he's running away from me. I'm not sure what the hell was going on. I'm like, what do you do? I was ready to, I thought I was, <laughs> thought I was gonna get in a fight or something. Uh. You know, I kind of like the short handle on the, uh, the lever there. <sighs> uh, well, that sucks. I gotta get a new lever. Put that on the list. Thanks. What? You gonna throw something at me too? I'll have to run that back in slow motion. We're gonna have to, we're gonna dissect that like the Zapruder film. What's going on? Maybe he was a crazy cab driver and he's just finally went broken arrow. And now he did something stupid. They called the cops and pulled him over. I can go, I can show him the tape I have him, him fleeing the scene of the crime with his Frappuccino. What a day. This is gonna be a good, good blog. It's gonna be some good, uh, good clickbait on this one. Attacked. <laughs> Attacked. Attack in Greenwich Village. Well, at least I didn't get smoothie all over my uh, new jacket. You know, we got to think about the positive on this one. I can still ride the bike. Everything is still functional. Tank isn't damaged. Got some good video of a <laughs> crazy man running away from me. I like that the bystander not stopping from eating his takeout. That's not going to slow him down. New York fucking city, man. <laughs> this place, this place is such a madhouse. And as soon as it's over, everybody's just like, ah, you're cool? All right. I'm going to go back to eat my street meat. Now let's go home and scour the internet for used clutch levers. Kind of liking the short clutch lever, though. Fuck off. Go throw a drink at somebody. Everyone's gonna see this. Why don't you, you should have just gone, man? Should have just hit the gas. I, did, I don't know. I didn't think about it. It was just like someone's coming up behind me. And instead of hitting the gas and going, I opted to jump off the bike and square off against strange man in mirror with drink. Ugh. Another Saturday night, <laughs> ain't got nobody. <laughs> Welcome to Saturdays. Now I'm not going to Brooklyn, I'm just gonna fucking go home. Here. Have a beer. And uh, tell the story to my wife. You know, I just, I can't. <laughs> I have a, a regular day. I can't have a regular day. But, it's good content. <laughs> it's good content. <laughs> you know, sometimes you wonder, oh, why, what am I going to talk about today? Should I do another recipe? I don't feel too funny. My jokes aren't that good. Oh, wait, I'll just hope I get uh, almost attacked by a man with a beverage. This is going to be the best this week in New York City traffic ever. Like he, he clearly was going to try to throw it at me as I pulled away, probably, figuring the light was going to go green. And he, 
he throw it at me or whatever. And then once I jumped off the bike and dropped the bike and turned around, then he, uh oh, uh oh, yeah, 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 off he went. Still with his hands up. That was the weirdest thing. That's all I can remember. <laughs> he was like an orangutan. What a fucking weird situation. Boy, this one better get some views. Hey, it's a fellow motorcyclist. Watch out for Jamba Juices. Whatever. So, new gear to get. Crash bars. Well, I finally laid her down. Have I a dropper yet? Yeah. Actually, funny story. I was in uh, an angry man drinking a, a culotta. Maybe it was, you know what, it's probably a pumpkin spice latte. You know, people like those pumpkin spice lattes right now. Oh, oh my god. Ah, man. Yeah, a little scratched. Big deal. I think I'd, I'd be more aggravated if I had like liquid all over my jacket and neck and maybe got into a potential fist fight with a stranger because you never know <laughs> you never know who you're gonna get in a good New York City traffic fight you know it could be it could be cited your your way or you could end up going after a MMA fighter. Next thing you know, you get choked out on 7th Avenue. How'd you break your arm? Was it on the motorcycle? Well, no, it was after I dropped the motorcycle. Turns out I cut off Fedor Emelianenko. He got me in an arm bar. Did he know me? Did I uh, did I anger this person before? And maybe he, he saw me? And all he had on him was his... Orange Julius? See, that's me trying to... Uh, you know what? It's not my fault. It's not your fault. Goodwill hunting, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Okay, he was just a crazy person. I happen to be in the crosshairs this time. Hey, if I had a beverage right now, I swear to God, I would lob that shit. At least I got it on video. You gotta be rolling, you always gotta be rolling. You never know. You never know when something great's gonna come into your head. Someone's gonna throw his virgin pina colada at you. Probably wasn't a virgin, he's, he's probably drunk. Bumpy, bumpy road. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. It's the fight of Machilayo's life this week in New York City traffic. In this corner, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of a black bell helmet on a Moto Guzzi V7. He's the brother of the blade. It's Machilayo NYC versus crazy dude with a 32 ounce Hawaiian punch. Got my New York crazy out of the way for the day. Come on. It's all you, buddy. You don't wanna, I wanna get any food or beverage thrown at me. I'll let you go. 